In this short video, we're going to take the new Pickup League Soccer Mini project and show you how to create a quick layout. We're going to create this layout right here. Probably not with the text, but with this exact same layout. And if you take a look at the project sheet, all of these layouts uh, will be easily made using the same techniques that I'm going to show you here in just one second. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. Here we are in Aspire 4.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, and we're going to make it. Uh, let's let's go to uh, inches here, and let's change this to be um, 10. Well, let's make it 12. 12 by 12. Make it a square. We're going to make it about one inch thick. That's what we're going to use for material. And the datum is in the center, and we're going to make it a uh, high modeling resolution, and click OK. Let's flip over to our 3D clip art tab, and I've already added in the Pickup League Soccer, and you can see the other Pickup League uh, mini projects are here as well. So there's quite a collection now of sports-themed mini projects. Now, if we look back at our um, CNC mini projects page, this is the layout we're going to do. So what we need is the uh, the sign shape, um, the sports plaque shape, I guess it's called, and then the ribbon. And also, this is the sports plaque shape as well down here, and we need the football and, I mean, sorry, football, soccer ball, and um, the soccer shoe or boot. So we're going to minimize that, and we're going to, um, first of all, we'll bring in our plaque. So we're going to press F9, and then we're going to just drag that up to make it a, the size we need it to be approximately. Right around there is great. Then we're going to bring in our ribbon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this all out first before we check our heights and so on. We're just going to lay this out nice and, you know, just about where we need it to be. Looks pretty good. Let's grab uh, the ribbon and we're going to shift and click on the, the plaque. And we're going to make sure those are centered left and right, which they are. And you notice that the way that the, um, the ribbon has been created, um, it'll actually look like it's rolling up close to the edge all the way up the side until you get right about here and then after that things change because of the shape of it but up until right about there it looks like it fits perfectly into this layout okay now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the soccer boot and that's probably a good size to start with and then we're going to bring in the ball and that's great i'm going to size that one down a little bit so that it fits in there a little bit better. It looks a little nicer. And we're going to angle the boot here just a little bit so that it kind of fits in there. Now, I happen to know ahead of time that the way that this uh, sports plaque was built, when, it, when this boot merges in with the sports plaque, I have a little bit of room here that I can tuck it inside the plaque. So that's sort of what I'm doing here right now. I think that layout looks pretty good. So let's flip over to the 3D view, and you'll see that we have some problems with our merging and so on that's going on. So let's go over to our modeling tab, and we're going to start off with our ribbon. We're going to select it, right-click on it, and go to combine mode, and we're going to make that merge. And you'll see a nice change there. And we're going to do that also with the soccer boot and also with the soccer ball. And now everything is in there, and it's looking pretty neat. So, oh, we forgot one thing, or I forgot one thing. I'm going to bring in another another plaque. We're going to size it down, and it's actually going to go at the very bottom. This is where we're going to V-curve in the player's position. So if they're a full back or a center fielder or whatever they happen to be, or a goalkeeper, uh, we can put that on there. So again, we're going to shift, collect, shift click both of those, go to our modeling tab, and we're going to center those. That's perfect, and we'll go back. Now, we do want to make sure that the um, that this small plaque, that closes down so we can see our models, or our components, needs to be added to it. So we're going to add this one to the back plaque, which is perfect. So that if I merged it, then I might end up cropping off the back of it, which would look might look funny. Um, in this case, it probably wouldn't matter, but if it happened to be a different model, it may look funny. So let's go ahead now and set up our sizes. So we're going to press, we're going to double click on the plaque, excuse me, and we're going to go over here to our component properties. And we're going to go ahead and fit this into our board. Now we want to make sure this is going to be a uh, fit into a half inch. So we're going to make this plaque just below a half inch. So let's make it four. That's great. We don't need a base height because we've got another half inch of material behind that to work with. So that's great. 
let's just go ahead and select our next component. We're going to go with the soccer boot. And we're going to change it to be about 0.4 again. And we're going to give it a slight start uh, base height because you can see right here that the, the plaque is, to, is kind of peeking through. So we're just going to give it like a 0 0.05 um, base height and that will just bring it up. And it looks kind of neat merging into the into the um, the plaque like that. Now let's go ahead and go to our soccer ball. And we're going to do the same with that. We're going to make it 0.4 and we'll give it a start height the same. And then we're going to go to our ribbon. And now what we need the ribbon to do is we need the ribbon to raise over top of the edge of our plaque. So we need to make sure that it's, it's higher than 0.4 because that was the height of our plaque. And we don't, if we we're going to V-carve text on it, maybe we want it to be just a hair underneath the surface of our wood. So let's make it 0.48. And that should pop up over the edge of our um, plaque. So now if we click that and we rotate that around, that looks pretty good. Now if we want to just kind of tighten up the design a bit, we might want to um, size up the ball just a little bit. When we do that, we're going to have to make sure we go back and check our, our heights on that to make sure that, it's, um, make sure that it's still within where we need it to be. So we're going to make this 0.4 again because it's scaled when we make this 0.5. Okay, now let's just uh, flip back over to our uh, 3D view here for a sec. Make sure everything is laid out still okay. That's perfect. So now that now I get a little more time here, let's go ahead and lay out at least the name on the banner here uh, right quick. So we're going to go to our drawing tab. We're going to go ahead and, and select our text, our create text dialog. And we're going to type in n.b.u.c.k.n.a.l.l. And we're going to make sure that's bold. And we like that font, Century. That's great. We're going to go to our 2D view. And then we're going to click Apply way too big so let's uh, make this um, 0.2 apply and that's really too small now so let's make it 0.75 apply that's great we're going to close that down and we're just going to just mess around with our our letter spacing a bit what we're checking for is to make sure that um, the, the space between our serifs here looks pretty uniform across the whole word. You see that the N and the K touch, we want to fix that, and the, we might want to put a little more space here between the A and the L. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the letter spacing, and we're going to hold down the shift key, and that's going to widen these out when we click between these letters a little bit. That looks great. So we're going to go back to our pick tool again. And we're just going to drop that on top of our ribbon. Oops. And now what we want to do is we want it to kind of conform to the shape of that. So there's a couple different ways we can do that. We could run it between two curves if we wanted to. Or what we can do is we can just do it by hand. And so that's what we're going to do this time around. We're just going to shape it by hand. And we're going to go ahead and use the um, distort. So we're going to distort that. We're going to use a bounding box. That's perfect. We're going to click Apply. And we're going to make sure we have edit envelopes selected. So what we can do is we can use these these handles and we can pretend that it's just like drawing or messing around with, with a square vector if we want or a square box. And we can turn this into a bezier if we'd like and we can shape the bottom of it and we can click this up here, or select this upper line and we can turn it into a bezier as well, which is great. We're just kind of shaping it to fit that ribbon, make it look a little bit more like it's supposed to be there. We're just kind of just counting in my head as I do this. That's why you don't hear me talking. <laughs> Make sure I get this right. That's pretty good. And we're going to go with close. And that's great. So there we have the player's name. And then we can add in more text if we want to, but we're not going to do that in this little demo. What we will do, though, is I'll show you how to simulate um, some text. We're going to go to our modeling tab. We're going to go ahead and create a shape. And if you create a shape with a, an angle, a pyramid angle of minus 35 and a base height of minus 0.2, and you add that to these vectors, then what you're going to end up having is a nice little V-carved simulation. So now you can send this off to your a customer to make sure that they proof the letters. Or not the letters, but the spelling. Okay. Let's go back to um, CNC Mini Projects and take a look at the project page again for the um, Pickup League Soccer. And if we scroll down the page, you'll see that uh, 
There's some um, great food for thought um, layouts down here for you to uh, maybe get inspired by. There's another great one over here too for the uh, Wooden Glove Award. And at the very bottom of the page, there is the hack for this mini project. So if you happen to have the Mother's Garden, number one, Home for the Holidays, number two, and the Pickup League Soccer mini project, you can create this great award plaque with years and also a place for some V-carving and also a nice little logo spot at the bottom. So that's some great inspiration for you. Well, I wish you all the best with this mini project. And if you would like to, make sure you send us some pictures of a finished part or even a hack to sales at cncminiprojects.com. Thanks a lot.